Dementia is the most common degenerative brain disease associated with aging. Many scientists are searching for a cure and one Korean biotech company has developed a new type of therapy which combines electronics and pharmaceuticals. Ian Jin with this report. South Korea's aging population is increasing. And with it is a rise in dementia, a disease with no cure or effective treatment. The main cause of dementia has been known to be abnormality in the beta amyloid, but recent treatments that target this amino acid have seen low efficacy. Among the hypotheses surrounding the cause of dementia, poor blood flow to the brain has also been pointed out as an important cause. Blood circulation delivers various nutrition to each nerve cell, so reduced blood flow restricts the supply of nutrition and oxygen to the nervous system. Now, a Korean biotech company is in the process of developing an electronic device that could help improve cerebrovascular flow. Using what's called photobiomodulation therapy, which uses light sources including LEDs and lasers, the company is developing coin-sized electronic stickers. The sticker patch is placed on the back of a patient's neck. When light is applied, the device emits visible light rays, which relax the capillaries in the brain, improving blood flow to the brain. The capillaries are relaxed by stimulating the nerve endings in the dermis or epidermis, which causes the secretion of nitrogen oxide from blood vessels inside the brain or nerve cells around lymph nodes. The research team also added that results from a small-scale clinical trial on patients with mild cognitive impairment in the early stages of dementia did confirm significant improvement. They used a cognitive evaluation test called a K-MOCA test, a Korean version of the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. One patient scored 20 points on the initial K-MOCA test. After the treatment, they scored 22 points. It's well known that even a single point change in the MOCA test is very difficult to achieve, so an increase of two points shows high efficacy. Results also showed that this treatment improved blood flow in the frontal lobe of the brain that's related to cognitive function. It will now undergo larger-scale trials. Ian Jin, Arirang News.